now, WMBD Sports Extra with Kurt Tankler and Matt McLean. Final Friday night of January, the postseason quickly approaching in high school hoops. Welcome to Sports Extra. I'm Kurt Pegler. And I'm Matt McLean. We have a full schedule of basketball coming your way, and an inner city rivalry game is where we begin our highlights. That's right. It's Big 12 leader Normal Community at Crosstown Rival Normal West. Famous French, a slick pass on the baseline. Trey Red for verse land for Community. One point iron lead at the half. Wildcats get their crowd fired up for the second half. Jordan Cherry to Jono Edmondson for the three. And Edmondson then will kick out to a wide open Max Zebarth, who knocks down this three. The Wildcats spelling an upset. This is a great ball game. But watch this play. The ball is tipped by Red. Zach Cleveland gets it back to Red, who takes it to the hole. 53 45, normal community with a tough road win. Notre Dame has lost three of their last four games. They bounce back at Centennial in Champaign tonight. First points of the game, Nelson Reynolds, the triple from the wing. Later, get the ball down to the block to Cooper Kosh. Nice post move, fadeaway bucket here for Kosh. And look at this play. David Williams, the behind the head, no look flip pass back to Koch, who buries the three pointer from straight away. Good result for the Irish. They win at 59 to 52. Manuel makes the long bus trip east to Danville, and we'll start off our highlights for the drive and a floater for Justin Page in the lane as he flips this one in. Then it's Manuel's Jaron Trapp snacking down, knocking down the three. Real high scoring affair. Off the steal, they're going to get a pass ahead. Javon Robinson with the fast break lane for the Rams. A nice road win for Manuel. 80 73 winners over the Vikings in Danville. Daniel Ruffins, Peoria High Squad on the road at Champaign Central. Lions get the ball down low early here to Eli Love. The junior forward powers it in, plus the foul of the old fashioned three point play. Later, it's Lerone Allen off the back door cut, scoring it off glass with the right hand. A really nice road victory for the Lions. Styshawn Kelly gathers a loose ball and scores here 51 to 30. Lions are winners. Tremendous game in the middle line. I the conference leader, Metamora, taking on East Peoria. And EP with a late lead. Nas Jackson, superb freshman for the Raiders. Drive it, score it, plus the foul. Then Austin Jones pull up drain. That's going in. EP's thinking about a road upset at Metamora. Here come the Redbirds. Drew Tucker in the corner. Knocks down a critical three. That pulls his team within one. A few minutes later, Zach Schroeder. The go-ahead lane with 50 seconds to play. East Peoria got a shot at the horn for the win, but it is no good. And Metamora survives. 55-54, Coach Danny Greaves' career win number 200 at Metamora. Yeah, congratulations to him. Senior night at the Potter Dome. Ready for a selfie. Morton plays host to Canton. The Potters out to a big lead. Seth Glatz knocks down the three-pointer early on. On the other end, it's going to be Trace Rhodes ahead of the pack for the easy lane for the Little Giants. Morton fills it up from behind the arc, though. Eight triples in the first half alone. Bo Durbin's going to connect here with the long ball from straight away. Ben Carter leads all scores with 25 points. He's going to score here with a nifty move in the paint. Morton a big winner, 67 to 28. Stay in the middle line eye. Pekin traveling to Dunlap for a road game. It's going to be a nice jump pass here. Ryan Dietz open for three. He's going to knock one down for the homestanding Eagles. Peek and trying to stay in this game. Mason Hess says, I can shoot the three as well. That one's going in, but the Eagles with some great passing, able to get an open lay in here. And Dunlap is a 53-38 winner over Pekin. Let's head out to the heart of Illinois Conference. State ranked El Paso Gridley, a good game against Leroy tonight. Luke Island felt with a great pass fake. Nope, I'm going to shoot this one from the elbow. He drains it. He had 20 points on the night for Luke. Leroy's Ian Johnson's going to put up a nice little fadeaway mid-range jumper here. But then Jake Funk and company just too strong for EPG. He's going to have a nice little floater here on the baseline. That's actually Micah Meese with the corner three ball. Jake Funk scored 19. EPG goes on to win 68-56. At Deer Creek Mackinac, the Chiefs are taking on Gibson City. Melvin Sibley in the Heart of Illinois Conference. And Lucas Blumeyer drives and finds Ethan Sidwell, who knocks down a three. D-Max Tice Albritton then finds Brent Dennison down the lane. Nicely done. Dennison cuts and scores. And here Lucas Blumeyer steps into a three. He'll knock this one down, but GCMS wins a, uh, a low-scoring game, 32-28. A small school Peoria showdown. It's Peoria Heights at home against Peoria Christian. Late first half action. Chargers kick it to the far corner. Malachi Persinger is going to connect. Persinger scores 14 points. On the other end, a nice move from Kamarion Richardson. Stop and pop mid-range J. Two of his 12 points. But Peoria Christian pulls away in the second half. Nice ball movement to an open Gavin Johnson in the corner. Three of his 14. Chargers are winners 59 to 37. Good game in Elmwood tonight. The Trojans in town to play or at home to take on the Illini Bluffs Tigers. Trojans with a fast start. Freshman Bo Windish with a bucket down low. 
Then Bryson Shadley finds him again with a nice pass for a bucket inside. But once IB gets rolling, they can be hard to stop. Hank Alvey down low. And then Alvey's going to find Toby Cooper, who's cutting to the basket and scoring. Hoop and foul. IB wins it 50 to 38. Homecoming weekend at Brimfield. Boys and girls players on the homecoming court. And their team's playing Bushnell Prairie City tonight. Junior guard Oliver Hines knocks down a three here. Then it's Levi Moon, one of those homecoming attendants with the short jumper in the paint. Finally, Caleb Tyre fights for this loose ball, just muscles it away from the defender and scores. Brimfield wins it 60 to 51. That Brimfield girls game coming up in just a moment. Final boys game of the night, IVC at home against Rantoul. IVC down double digits second half. They're going to rally. Nick Rainey, the nice finish off the glass down low. Jaden McNaught with this steal at half court. He's going to take it in. Right hand layup is good. IVC is going to get their shots to fall in the second half. Aiden Fulton, the mid-range jumper. IVC wins it by four. All right, back to Brimfield for that girls matchup between Brimfield and Bushnell Prairie City. Nice night for senior Sophie Bedell. She scored 14. Ella Loon with a nice pass down to her. Loon Poured in 25 right down the lane. Scoop and score here. Ellie Doe left the game with a bloody nose. She got popped in the nose. Got right back in the game. Three-point play here. Love this. 63-29. Brimfield's girls a winner. And a congratulations to longtime Lincoln boys basketball coach Neil Alexander, who picks up his 900th career win in the Railers' 40-35 victory over Mattoon. Other winners tonight include U High, Flanagan, Cornell, and the Fieldcrest boys, plus the Lewistown girls.